Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Sorry about the still image that you're viewing right now, but somehow I managed to do it again. I put the GoPro into some kind of a blurry still image mode, and what I thought I was recording never got recorded. So uh, I am going to take this super box, all rock box, which I believe was originally fitted to some John Deere, and I am going to modify it and weld all the holes shut and make it fit my 806. that wasn't too bad now I'll get these holes welded up and then I can uh, mark the new ones on there I'm gonna use a scrap piece of aluminum to help weld these big holes shut quicker I'll put a little bit more weld in there to get that flush, but that's what that looks like. Here's what the aluminum looks like. Yeah, it's, uh, it doesn't care for it, but it sure makes it a lot quicker to weld them holes shut, especially when they're that big. Well, I'll get after this and bring you guys back when them are all welded up. There, I got them top four holes welded up. That's all I really got to do for now to put new holes in there. So I'll kind of grind these up and mark where the new holes are going to be. Yeah, that should suffice. So these holes are 16 inches apart on center and then uh, I'm gonna make the first hole an inch and a quarter down from the top and the second one four inches it looks like so I'll just uh, find this center of the box here which is uh, 
15 inches. So eight inches on each side of that. It's still hot, I'm gonna grab a glove. So center is 15. So then we'll be putting one at seven. One at 23. 16 inches. And we'll be going an inch and a quarter and four inches. Inch and a quarter, four inches. Transfer our lines. Double check everything. And 16 inches, 16 inches, and about an inch and a quarter, and about four inches. It's always a good thing to center punch your holes before you drill them. Pretty good. Magnetic drill press would be nice for this job. There, the drill finally chewed through them. Well, let's see how it looks up there. As you can see, the first one turned out pretty good. But these other ones, we have some molten mess. I gotta take care of, that's fine. The grinder will eat that up. I don't have the right length bolts right now, but I at least have the right diameter. Looks like all them bolt holes are going to work. It's fairly straight on there. Looks like a pretty big rock box.
So this will bolt solid on the top. And then down in the bottom here, it's just going to rest against the, the front axle of the tractor. I'm going to put some flat iron be, behind the bolt holes. And I'm also going to put some flat iron in front of the, um, the axle. So that'll make sure that this doesn't hit when it's going through its motion. Everything will be good and happy. That's all I got for today. I got to get some bolts, get some other stuff uh, made up here. Well, guys, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And until next time, take care and God bless. You want to run them?